intelligent design has got the headlines recently because of court cases. Uh, intelligent design is a sophisticated form or variant of uh, what has been called creation science. Now, creation science and intelligent design are located in one particular area of the Christian spectrum. These are conservative evangelicals. So you will not find uh, amongst mainline Christians opposition to evolution. You certainly won't find it amongst Jews. In Islam, the situation is mixed. Uh, because the Quran, as most Muslims believe, teaches the special creation of human beings. And uh, this therefore conflicts with Darwinian notions of evolution. Now, what is new about intelligent design in terms of the older creationism or creation science is that intelligent design claims not to be a religious theory. It claims to be a scientific theory. Uh, the older um, forms of creationism uh, claimed that the Bible and the book of Genesis uh, was the true account of the origins of the universe and human life. What intelligent design believes is that some intelligent being, not necessarily God, although most of these people are Christians, but that what evolution, that for evolution to get I've got where it has, uh, an intelligent being must have uh, intervene that there are, there are that there are certain aspects of the of evolution uh, and in particular they point to complexity which could not have arisen without the inter uh, intervention of an intelligent designer and it conflicts actually with many uh, traditional Christian positions and therefore, um, amongst mainline Protestants and Catholics, it has met a great deal of opposition. What distinguishes intelligent design from our earlier um, theological arguments ab about the design of the universe is that it claims uh, to be science, not theology, and uh, that, uh, and it also claims that the intervention of an intelligent designer can be empirically observed by scientists. And that's when you get a lot of other Christians throwing up their hands in horror.